Hey, welcome to Truman Tech Breaks. Uh, today, I just wanted to briefly go over a feature that Zoom has, and that is the ability to join multiple meetings at the same time. Now, keep in mind that this is not the ability to host multiple meetings at the same time. You can only host one, but you can join others um, either instead of or in addition to the meeting that you're hosting. So th this could be useful for a variety of reasons. Maybe you need to meet with some students um, while still um, participating and listening to a faculty meeting that's going on. Maybe you just need to be two places at once, um, Mrs. Outfire style. There's a lot of reasons that you may want to do this. Um, another couple things to keep in mind are the uh, requirements for this. I think that we should all be good as far as the Zoom version of either 4.1 on Windows or 4.4-ish on Mac. I think we're all about in the fives now. Uh, but if you do need the most recent version of Zoom that we have available at Truman and you're on a Truman-owned um, Windows machine for that is faculty or staff, your primary, uh, you should have a program called Avanti on there. And if you go to the Avanti portal, you should be able to install the most recent version of Zoom that we have available. So you can do that. Um, additionally, keep in mind, while you can join multiple meetings, um, it's generally advisable, at least in my opinion, that you don't join more than two or three at a time. And additionally, uh, try to dedicate at least one monitor to each meeting if you can. Uh, otherwise, it gets a little bit unwieldy, which since I had to keep everything on one screen, as you'll see in a second, uh, in this demonstration, it can be a lot more difficult to um, keep track of multiple meetings all on the same screen. All right, well, let's get to it. All right, so first things first, you can see me. I am in a Zoom meeting already. That's what I'm using to record. Um, and this is a Zoom meeting that I'm hosting. Now, you cannot host multiple meetings, but um, hosting, you can host one, and then you can join multiple meetings after that, or you can just join multiple meetings. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, you can see I've gone to zoom.us slash join, uh, and I'll put that link in the description. But that's going to ask for a personal meeting ID or link name. And my student has provided me with the uh, meeting ID of one of his rooms. So I've put that in already. Uh, and we'll hit join and allow. And that is also, this one is set up with a password. Not all meeting rooms will be, but some may. So you'll want to make sure you get that password if you need to as well. Okay, so I am now in the meeting that I'm hosting as well as the one that my student is hosting. Um, there we go. Sorry, I'm trying to get everything consolidated onto one screen. Um, but yeah, that is how you join multiple meetings. All right, yeah, so really it's just a matter of uh, going to that link and making sure that you have the information from the other host that uh, you can access their meetings. So ideally the uh, personal meeting ID or the link name, and just being able to put that in. Um, like I said, you can join additional meetings after um, the first two, but I mean, I don't see very many situations where I would suggest doing so. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to our team at ltt.truman.edu. And thank you very much. Have a good Purple Friday.